Good morning, this is Bridget, and welcome. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget, the West Coast edition. Oh, I'm a little chilly, I gotta admit. I think it's mid 40s right now, but I'm on a rooftop deck overlooking gorgeous state of Washington. I see lots of green trees, different heights all snuggled together. I see a gorgeous blue sky, a sliver of a moon, and off to my right, I see Lake Washington. It is gorgeous. Very pretty. Down below, I see a few cars moving here and there. It's wet. The city is wet, and it kind of has that smell of wet earth, which I love. And it's going to be beautiful today. The sun is out behind me at my back. Good morning to you. Good Sunday morning. Made some coffee this morning in the little place that I'm staying at. And yes, there are three different coffee shops located quite literally on each of the sides of the place that I'm at, the apartments that I'm in. <laughs> I literally can walk out three different parts of the building and get coffee. Because apparently that's a thing in Washington, <laughs> which is great. It's like, ah, I belong here. Thanks for the warm welcome. <laughs> All right, so today, I did um, the morning routine that I've been trying to do, which is to give my mind, my mind, my thinking mind, a little bit of medicine. And I've been doing that with the Melody Beatty book. I have two of them. The Melody Beatty, Daily Meditations on the Path to Freeing Your Soul, The Journey to the Heart book. Okay. So the one I read this morning for April 24th was actually <clears throat> Change Your Perspective. And it talked about how sometimes you don't have to do a massive major change. And you know, you know, if you've been listening to my work at all, if you've been paying attention to my life coaching stuff, you know that I believe that wholeheartedly. Change isn't often this big, bold, massive, courageous thing that people go, oh, gasp when you do it. And it doesn't have to invoke deep fear in order to make a meaningful, profound difference. Did you hear that? It does not have to invoke deep fear in order for you to actually have a meaningful, profound difference. Change can be subtle and gentle and occur over time. It can be a series of changes that grow into a monumental stepping stone, a staircase to the next thing, to the next place, to the next view of perspective. So change your perspective is perfect for today. As I said, I traveled from Minnesota to Washington yesterday on a Saturday. I left Minnesota. Here's some perspective for you. Uh, it was about 60 degrees in the morning at like 5 a.m. when I was at the airport. Left Minnesota and it got up to almost 80 degrees yesterday. Warmest day of the year so far in April. Here, the warmest day of the year, April. Last week it was snowing, but hey, you know, it's Minnesota, right? I get on a plane, I travel to the West Coast, get to Washington, and it barely cracks 60. But it was sunny and beautiful and refreshing. The air here literally feels refreshing. <clears throat> and the cherry blossoms are in bloom. Interesting. Follow me on Bridget Inspired on Instagram. Bridget Inspired on Instagram, and you will see the pictures I took yesterday of the cherry blossoms. <coughs> Excuse me. I, not so ironically, but perhaps in sync, in sync, I actually brought a beautiful pale pink journal that I purchased several months ago that has cherry blossoms on it. I just thought, oh, this is springy. I didn't even make the correlation. It has cherry blossoms on it. I'll post a picture of my beautiful pink springtime journal for you. That's the one I'm going to use for the next three weeks while I'm here in Washington state. So change your perspective change. It also talked about little movements, just little movements can give you a different perspective because something might be blocking your view. So the question I have for you today is what is blocking your view? Because something is. It's like when you go to a concert and you can get cheaper seats because potentially obstructed view because there's like half a speaker or a big light pole in front of you. But if you move just a little here, shimmy just a little there, you can see around it. 
You might be uncomfortable because you're cranking your neck trying to enjoy the concert. It's not ideal, but you know it's there and so you can work with it. So my question to you is what is skewing your perspective? What is blocking your view? Think about it in terms of a concert. as though you were watching your life. What is blocking your view? And you don't have to identify if it's a speaker or a poll or a particular person or the ramifications of a choice you made 15 years ago or a health crisis or a financial thing. You don't have to identify the block. You just have to recognize that it's there. And then you have to say, oh, wait a minute. Instead of facing the same direction and trying to work with the blockage, why don't you just turn yourself around a little bit and pay attention to another whole wide open view, vast area of opportunity and consciousness that awaits you when you just turn a little bit and stop looking and staring right at the post, right at the blockage, right at the resistance. Stop staring at it. Shift your weight, use your leverage, move just a little bit, step a little to the right or a little to the left or turn your body and look. Tilt your head up and look. Subtle changes, a subtle adjustment can give you a whole new opportunity. So as I'm standing here on the rooftop deck, I notice behind me, the sun is coming up and there's literally a building, a little piece of the building kind of jutting out. Because I came to the side where I can look out where the sun sets because the lake is on that side and it's beautiful. And I wanted to uh, look at that spot. <clears throat> and the place where the building kind of juts out a little bit here behind me is where the stairway is. Right? A much needed thing, by the way. It's not a resistance or obstacle. It's something that actually works for me. It's actually something that services me, that helps me. It's not really a blockage or a barrier or resistance. So to label that thing, person, and life experience as a resistance or blockage point would be inaccurate. But it is blocking my view right now of the sun. And so because it is a little chilly, I'm actually going to grab my books. And you and I are going to walk around it. We're going to walk to the side. Oh, yes. And instantaneously, just like that, the beautiful golden yellow sun is revealed. I can feel it. I can see it. I'm going to close my eyes and let it, let it just soften. The light is so bright. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I know it's going to drive you nuts. I'm going to be a little stuffy with all those cherry blossoms. It's beautiful. I can feel it. When I close my eyes, I can feel it, and I can still see the light coming in. It's a bit quieter here, too, now that I notice auditory my senses, my sensory energies of, I can hear birds. I can hear kind of a hum or a lull of traffic from off in the distance and periodically a, a truck here and there delivering some things, no doubt coffee, right? <clears throat> I can feel the sun. It's not hot, but I can feel the light of it permeating my face. It's golden yellow. Even when I close my eyes, I can see yellow. Solar plexus, that's your spirit, intuition. And all I did was move around this perceived resistance point barrier, which by the way is the exit. That's how I got up here in the first place. That's how I'm going to get down from here. It's a necessary thing that if I would have labeled as resistance and just been all mad about it and just accepted the position I stood in, I would never come across to this side of that perceived block or barrier and, and been able to view the perspective of the sun. I would have just accepted that it was blocked. <clears throat> just a little movement. 
you are in control of your life. You do have, you are the one that has all of the power. I know it doesn't seem like it. You don't have the power to perhaps do everything you could possibly want to do, but you have the power, the power to change things, the power to shift things, the power to choose how you're going to feel, engage and interact with your life. The people who are in it, how you're going to engage and interact with your body, how you're going to engage and interact with the job that you have at this point or changes you'd like to make in your home. You know, the decor, the renovations, etc. whatever that might look like for you, you have the power. And all you need is just a little bit of a perspective, just a little bit. And that's what I'm getting. I hope I get more than a little. As I'm now walking across this deck on the rooftop. Whew. The glass barriers that outline the little path, the little sidewalk that I'm walking on here on the top of the deck here, are all foggy. They're all like wet. And it's quiet. Not a lot of people are out this early. It must be that a time zone change, right? And perspective shift, right? Time zone change. Two hours difference for me. I gained two hours. <laughs> perspective, right? Little change. And in the meditation today, it was a, a little movement. So instead of using the word change or perspective, let's use the word movement. Move a little. In fact, you know, let me read to you just a little excerpt of this because it feels, it feels like the right thing to share here. <clears throat> Again, this is the Melody Beatty Journey to the Heart, Daily Meditations on the Path to the Soul. Let me read this to you. Maybe you can grab your journal and listen for a bit. I'm going to read you a couple parts of this. April 24th, change your perspective. Sometimes a slight difference in where we stand can dramatically change how we see things. I'm going to read that again for you. Sometimes a slight difference in where we stand can dramatically change how we see things. Another portion shares, we often need to change our position so we can see things differently. We don't have to make a dramatic change. We just need to move around a little. We just need to move around a little. Perhaps an unresolved issue is blocking our vision, blocking us from seeing the beauty that's there. Maybe a bit of anger or self-contempt is interfering with our vision. Maybe the changes we need to make are minor, much less than we thought. Maybe we simply need to look at whatever we are viewing without fear to change our mood and to see it with the eyes of love. Maybe we simply need to look at whatever we are viewing without fear to change our mood and see it with the eyes of love. Now that is medicine for the soul. As I mentioned, I will be posting on Bridget Inspired Instagram pictures for the next few weeks. I will be here doing some self-reflection and I will be working. So yes, I'm doing sessions. Keep an eye on Bridget Inspired on Instagram and Bridget Inspired on Facebook. I'll also be posting on Above Life Channel YouTube, probably doing live streams because that's the easiest way for me to uh, do my videos from here, Above Life Channel YouTube, and also Fairy Grasshopper YouTube. I hope I've inspired your spirit today, filled you with some hope. I hope you're enjoying your coffee or your tea as you're listening to this audio, and I hope you have a beautiful journal. If not, please check the links to my other videos, and you will find my recommendations for my some of my very favorite, most beautiful journals, as well as this book by Melody Beatty, Journey to the Heart. Have a good day.